I walked over to my local bike shop and I asked them for some free inner tubes. And this is what they gave me. This is all trash to them because as you can see with this guy right here, like that's not going on a bike anytime soon. With these inner tubes, I'm gonna show you five crafts that you can do at home. Number one, let's make some bracelets. So my wrist is about six and a half inches. I'm gonna guess we'll need about 10 to 12 inches for this weave. Better to have more than less. I'm just gonna go 13. No need to be exact here. From here, we're gonna be doing a braid of four strands, which gives it a really nice circular look. Next, I'm going to secure all the pieces of rubber together with a binder clip so that it's easier to hold when I'm weaving them together. Now for the weave. We're doing a four cord braid. It's pretty easy to learn, just stick with me on this one. So if these pieces are in positions one, two, three, four, we wanna take number four and bring it down and put it into position two, going underneath, right here. And now we're gonna to continue to wrap it until it's in position three. Okay, then we'll switch and go to position one, bring it to position three, wrapping it underneath, and then bring it to position two. There you go. So I've got the braid down to a point where it's the circumference of my wrist sealed it off with another binder clip. Now the next step is going to be making a clasp. For the clasp, I'm going to be using a paper clip and a pair of pliers. The goal here is to coil the paper clip around the edge of the bracelet to hold it together and then make the end of the paper clip into a clasp mechanism. Ta-da! The idea behind the clasp is I'm just going to make a little ring and a hook. Next up, let's make a headband. We're going to need three things for this. Some inner tube, scissors, and super glue. We're gonna to need to cut out at least a couple evenly with strips, preferably even height too. Now I'm going to round the corners. Fold it. Drop it in there. we have to turn this line into a circle. To do that, we're going to snip right here and then thread it through on the very bottom and then super glue it together. Here we are. Mine's the super glue on my fingers. Next up, we're making a welcome mat the easy way. For this, we're just gonna use a traditional over, under, over, under pattern that many of you have probably already done before. I'm using the lines on the inner tube as guides as I cut down so I get a straight line. I'm gonna go clean some of this dust off. Most of it's gone now. Taste it, I taste the rubber. Ugh. 
I need another tube all cut up. I had my strips that were the entire length of my tube and I cut this. These are thirds of the length and these are fourths of the length. So this is going to be my height and this is going to be my width. I'm back. I took a little break. I'm playing along with the natural curvature of the tubes, um, which is making my mat start to get this rounded shape. And I really like that. Not bad. No real welcome mat is complete without a welcome pun. So uh, first up on that is I have to come up with a welcome pun. Tubes, air in the tube, flat. You get a flat tube, you can rip a tube. Hi, welcome to my flat. I don't really know the difference between an apartment and a flat. I think a flat is like a sectioned off floor of a house maybe. I'll have to check that later, but for the purpose of this pun, I think it works out just fine. Number four, let's make a pencil holder. Right now, I use an old peanut butter jar to hold my utensils, but it's kind of bland, so I could really use a new one. Here, you can see, when I pull these four up, that's going to be the height. We're going to take these and weave them in a spiral up these pillars. Super glue is going to be your friend. The rubber is just going to want to fall down. So I'm going to put dabs of super glue on each section so that they stay nice and stuck. Last, and definitely the opposite of least, we're going to make another mat. But this mat is going to be a bit harder than the other mat we made, and it's going to look a lot cooler. You can stop there and have the world's smallest mini mat that looks really cool, or you could continue for a full tube and four-ish hours and get this baby. I grabbed a tube that was double the length of the smaller tube and then cut it to be double the width of the smaller tube, except I cut a couple to be the same width as the smaller tube, and now I'm just weaving them in. But since they're double the length, I go every single other, every other.
I'm going to call it a mat, not a welcome mat, which means it doesn't deserve a pun. Just saying. There you have it. Five projects that you can make from recycled bicycle inner tubes. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. It's really encouraging for every thumbs up that I get. Feel free to go over to my channel to see more crafts that I make out of recycled materials and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching.